What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video for you guys. We are opening up a, another Burning Shadows ETB. Uh, we've been doing a good amount of Burning Shadows lately, and we keep hitting Rainbow Rare, so we're going to keep pushing our luck until we find the Charizard Rainbow Rare. So we have eight cracks at that. But as always, we're going to do a quick mail day. Uh, sometimes when I pick up like uh, not just like specific like a single we pick up like someone's collection sometimes they'll send random stuff and one person sent in sent me their pin collection and they did have a blastoise tin which is pretty cool and you know what this kind of got me thinking about is as far as like if you catch any of our twitch streams we do have some different turtle emotes and this blastoise looks like he's kind of like holding up his hand as if uh uh, sometimes when chat sees I'm misplaying and they need me to stop uh, looking at you get wrecked and maybe they could spam an emote that kind of looks like this where the blastoise is just hit stop and we'll just put like stop underneath the tur on, underneath the hand or something so I just uh, saw this pen I figured I'd share with you guys but we do have some cards and um, so we do have three singles ungraded and they are something pretty cool it is the crystals uh, from the e-reader series and uh, so this is the Ho-Oh Crystal type. Crystal type is actually pretty interesting, so the Pokemon is colorless. However, whatever energy you attach to last was fire, water, or lightning, that's basically the type you are. So I wonder how good these actually were when it came to competitive. I imagine not so much because you have so many different energy types to get the attacks off, but it's kind of cool to have that flexibility to hit for different weaknesses. Uh, so this is the reverse, and these cards are super expensive. So right now I just want to get have them for like a binder collection. Uh, maybe one of them is worth grading. This Ho-Oh, I'm not sure you guys can see in the light, but there's significant creases. Uh, so if anything, this will probably just go in the binder collection and it is the reverse, which is a little less expensive. Um, let's see, let's look at this one. And we got the Kaboot Tops. I think this is probably one of the best condition ones of the ones I picked up so far. But again, it's the reverse. Uh, I don't see any significant edge wear on it. So this one might be worth any PSA, Kaboot Tops Crystal. And then our third one is a Nido King. So this one is the regular hollow, which is awesome. Uh, but I think there is a couple, yeah, you can see like a nick over there. Um, if I had to guess, maybe this would get like a PSA seven or six. So if we really need to get that in collection, we could have this guy graded. But uh, yeah, the crystal types, very interesting um, kind of like set of cards and very expensive. I have no idea what the pull rates were like, but um, yeah, not cheap. All right, let's get into this ETB, see if we can find that Rainbow Rare Charizard. All right, they were good to go. Only eight shots, so this would probably be a pretty quick opening. And with these kind of products, to be honest, one hit isn't bad. Uh, but for a set as old as Burning Shadows, only a handful of cards that we are really looking for. So it's gonna be tough, not gonna lie. Here we go in our first pack. Dusclops, Town, Porygon, Dewpiter, Tangela, a Rhyhorn, Riolu, Cutiefly, Vulpix is our reverse, and then just a Raticate. Move on to a Necrozma pack art. So hope everyone's having a good day. And um, let's see, what, what's there to talk about? Probably gonna get my hair cut soon, so hair has been a long since out of control. But uh, hopefully that comes to a wrap, or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Pampor, and then a Toxicroak for another regular rare. So far, not so good. Five packs remaining. Does seem like uh, cities and towns are starting to reopen the street that I happen to live on. Actually, they kind of closing it down so that Restaurants can actually serve customers outdoors, which is pretty cool. As businesses begin to reopen, Pikachu and Noibat. Shinotic is our reverse, and then just a regular rare Beware, not even a foil so far. All right, come on. I guess the one silver lining so far is that we haven't seen any edge wear on any of the cards, although we haven't even hit a foil. I think sometimes, I'm not sure how they work as far as like the sheet that the ultra rares are printed on and if the damages on those, which is probably like worst case scenario. 
But I guess my point is that the, the regular rare is not a great data point. All right, and we're halfway through this opening. Nothing to show for it. Not even like a Guzma or something useful. Sneasel uncommon. All right, can we get a hit? Electric. Ooh, speaking of Guzma, there we go. Solrock, a Sock, a Mudbray, Oddish, Duskull, a Esper, a Crabominable is our reverse. Look how off-center that is. And we got an, uh, we did hit a ultra rare muck. Muck happens to be the ultra one of the ultra rares that we hit in our latest uh, burning shadows. So definitely getting a good amount of like duplication. But wow, that is wildly off center. If you kind of look at the border up here, where it's almost not existent beyond that black line, and here you have all the silver. So very off center, but we did get a hit. Um, yeah, that might be. <laughs> That could very well be all we get out of this ETB, but we got three more shots. All right, let's see, we got Water Energy, Buffalant, Olivia, Kiawe. Oh, this was a crazy card when you could uh, support her turn one. It's like, you couldn't attack anyway, so might as well ramp a whole lot of energy. Okay, we did get a Hollow with Lucario. Two packs remaining. Psychic Energy, Plumeria, a Seedra, Rooptom, Inke, Crabrawler, Stuffle, a Morlul, another Shenotic. Ooh, nice! We got a Charizard. So if you get a Charizard, it is just the regular, um, regular Ultra Rare, the regular GX, uh, as opposed to the Rainbow. I think the Full Art is just from a promo product. And it's in pretty good shape. We've got a small nick over there and a little bit of whitening on that side. Unlike we're going to get this graded, it is very off-center. Actually, the same amount off-center as this. Actually, if anyone's a PSA expert, I highly doubt it's worth like a MC grade, but like a miscut. But if it is, because that is pretty significant. I'm guessing this is just, maybe it could get OC. The crazy thing is, like it's super off-center here and then the back is very less significant. Although it's definitely thicker over here. But uh, yeah, unless someone tells me, yeah, that could get a OC grade. Unlikely we get this graded, but hey, I do like this art. It's very nice. And we got our Charizard. Wrong one, but uh, we'll take it. All right, last pack. Two hits out of ETB. I call this a successful opening. Guzma. And to be honest, some of the rainbows, like this Charizard might be a better hit than a lot of the rainbows. So definitely a very good consolation prize. And uh, yeah, so we did find a Charizard. Next time we'll be more specific on which one we are looking for. And let's see, showed off some cool crystals today for mail day. And a cool Blastoise pin. pin blah. Maybe we'll make this a emote in the near future. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us today. As always, thanks for all the support on the channel. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.